lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim.
Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Loretta Petit Show, Women Winning at Life from Ministry to Marketplace. You are a winner. You've got to know it. Live your life so we can show it. Let everyone know about the power of God that's working in you. Hello, I'm Loretta Petit, your host, for the next 30 minutes or so. And today our topic is procrastination. Well, it is the month of January. Happy birthday to all of my January brothers and sisters. This has been a phenomenal month, and this will be a phenomenal year. So happy birthday to you, and if I didn't get an opportunity to say so before, I think you're absolutely fabulous. We are garnets, and as we are praisers, we are garnets of praise. Hey, listen, my scripture for today is to remind you that the Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? The answer would be nobody and nothing, because he did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of a sound mind. So be all that you want to be. Do all that you want to do, and don't let nothing or no one stop you. Just walk in your power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Giving a shout out to my awesome producer, Miss Kimmy Kim. I pray that God continues to bless you real good. She is the awesome publisher of Elation Magazine. So check it out at elationmagazine.com. Hats off to Mr. Jerry Royce and all of the wonderful programming that he is producing right now. I just thank God for all of the talents and the gifts that he is stirring up and using in this day and time to his glory. Hey, this is National Croissant Day, and uh, you can find all kind of good things to put on a croissant. A croissant is just good all by itself, but that's what today is. It is National Croissant Day. So let's get to our topic. Our topic is procrastination. We all are familiar with what procrastination is, but as an official definition, I'm going to say this. It is putting off tasks that you should be doing. Procrastination is putting off tasks that you should be doing. Did you know that 95% of people procrastinate to some degree? They may not be habitual procrastinators, but they have their moments of procrastination. Now, when we look at procrastinating, not doing what we need to be doing, uh, it can cause some things to happen to us. We can miss important deadlines, right? Right. It can even damage our reputation. We can be known as the great procrastinator. If you want something done, don't give it to him or don't give it to her because they're known to procrastinate. How about this? It also causes people to not to want to work with you. Well, I'll work with anyone else because I believe in reaching deadlines. I want to get it done. I want to get it done right and well and on time, but I'm not going to work with him or I'm not going to work with her. Because you have become known as a procrastinator. It can also cause us to be shamed. Let me tell you, in ministry, when we're called to bring forth the word or even to do a solo on a program, and we have procrastinated and not taken the time necessary to get into that word and to rightly divide it, to dig all under it and around it to make sure that we've got everything connecting to make it clear to the hearer or get that song just right where we hit all the notes just right and make it pleasant to the ear. We try to do their thing at the last minute, do it in a crash style. We find sometimes that we stumble and we fall. It can cause us to be made ashamed in front of the listeners Procrastination can cause you shame, my friend. Yes, it can. So please, ma'am, and please, sir, look at how important what you're doing is and get to it. It can also make you feel guilty when you realize you have not put your best foot forward. You have not done your best. You can be made to feel guilty because you put that task off for far too long and you were not able to give it your best. So note that about procrastination. Putting off tasks that you should be doing can cause us to feel bad, to look bad, and to even have a bad reputation. If you procrastinate over a long period of time, you know, you can become demotivated. Your life can just be humdrum, and 
it can also make you disillusioned. You can feel like, well, you know, I'm doing okay, when you're really not, because you have learned to just procrastinate and just learn to just get by. What I want to call your attention to is how to recognize that you've got a procrastination problem. When you have to wait for the right mood to do a thing, I'm guilty of that. I procrastinate in that area. There are sometimes I may get a piece of mail, and I know that this is not mail that's going to make me feel good about myself. It's not going to make me feel good today, so I'm not going to open it. I do that. I do that, and I shall this year overcome that. I'm going to face the music as soon as it starts to play. So when I get that envelope, I'm going to open it up and deal with what's going on. So that is a way to recognize you've got a problem with procrastination, waiting for the right mood to do a thing. How about this? You may have, uh, you may be a perfectionist, and uh, you don't even realize that you're doing it, but you want everything to be just right, perfect, before you do that task, and you procrastinate. And that could be showing you that you are not just a procrastinator, but it can also show you that you have these perfectionist tendencies. You also might find that you're unorganized. Procrastinators sometimes are unorganized. You need to prioritize. You need to prioritize in order to get the task done that you need to do. Procrastinators sometimes are also not motivated. You just go to work. You clock in, but you don't produce. You're not producing because you're looking at the clock. You're doing everything else that you want to do. And then when it's almost time to go home, you say, let me knock this this report out. But you can't get the report out because what you didn't realize that you had to open a few links. You had to do a little bit of digging. And now 5 o'clock is come and gone, and you're still trying to finish the report because you were not motivated earlier, maybe because you don't like your job, maybe because you've been on it too long, or whatever the case may be. And, again, maybe because you're just not organized, okay? But these are some of the things that cause us to procrastinate. Our perfectionist tendencies, waiting for our right mood, not organized, not motivated. But I also want to call your attention to how to overcome or defeat your procrastination tendencies. But just before that, can I insert this right here? You may even have a medical situation happening to you and you don't know it, such as um, you may have ADHD. Maybe you have a problem focusing. Maybe you have a problem focusing. That's why you can't get it done. Or how about OCD? Yeah, you just can't put that OCD on the side until you get this done. Everything's just not looking clean to you, not looking orderly, not looking right. You may have anxieties that's causing you not to be able to do what you need to do. These anxieties are causing problems for you. And so, therefore, because you have these anxieties, you can't keep still. You can't keep yourself calm enough to work through the project. And even depression. Depression can cause us to procrastinate because with that mood thing, that mood thing could get very heavy and very deep. It can be that you are depressed and you cannot rise to the occasion to get the work done. Even serious stress can get in the way of our doing things in a timely manner and doing the right things right or doing the most important things first. Did you know that procrastination can be confused with laziness? Yeah, it's often confused with laziness, actually. But actually, laziness is a very different kind of thing. You see, laziness is apathy. It's inactivity. It's an unwillingness to act. That's what laziness is. So when we look at procrastination, it's an active process. Procrastination is not that you're not doing anything. It's just that you're trying to substitute that important matter with something of less importance or that thing that's a little bit bigger with something quite smaller. It's an active process, choosing to do something else instead of what's important at the time. 
So if you're just tuning in, you're listening to the Loretta Petit Show, Women Winning at Life from Ministry to Marketplace. It is always my goal to give you some meat, some content, something to work with, to go right alongside your winning ways, to help you to be the best that you can be. And today's topic is procrastination. We sometimes procrastinate. That's a given. But when we find ourselves consistently procrastinating, that is an issue, and that's an issue that we need to work on fixing. And I want to help you to fix it, if I may. But in the meantime, in between time, I want to give you an opportunity to reach out to me. You can send your emails to Loretta Reviews. That's Loretta Reviews plural, R-E-V-I-E-W-S, Loretta Reviews at gmail.com. Let's have a little conversation about some things that you may be dealing with in this area and that you may need to try and strategize to fix. If what I share with you today is not sufficient or you have specific questions or specific challenges, let's talk about it. You can send your email once again to Loretta Reviews at gmail.com. And you can hit me up on all social media, Loretta Petit on Facebook. I am Loretta Petit on Instagram and Preach Girl on Twitter. I'd love to have a dialogue with you. So do you fill your day with a low-priority task? Do you? Do you leave something on your to-do list for a very long time? Do you start high-priority tasks and then break away, such as to make coffee or to chat on the phone or to check your text or something of that nature, something trivial to what you are doing? Then chances are you have a challenge in the area of procrastination. So when we talk about procrastination, I'm going to recap a few things. That's putting off tasks that you should be doing, just in case you're just tuning in. It is putting off tasks that you should be doing, and it causes us to miss deadlines. It can damage our reputation. It can cause people to not to want to work with us. Let me pause right here. Do I have any callers on the line? I didn't give out the number, but I know some of you have it. So I'm just checking to see if there's a caller on the line. Okay, so let me continue. Procrastination can also make us shame, can make us feel guilty, and over a long period of time, um, it can demotivate us and disillusion us as well. Now, procrastination can be identified when we're waiting for the right move to take care of some very important things. And I came clean, confessed that I have this issue when it comes to certain kinds of mail. It can be an important lesson.
Show Women Winning at Life from Ministry to Marketplace. This is a session on procrastination. So, as I prepare to wind down, I just want to give a shout out once again to my awesome producer, Miss Kimmy Kim, all the way in the beautiful state of Missouri. Hats off to you, woman of God. And of course, she is the awesome publisher of Elation Magazine. Do check it out at elationmagazine.com. While I also have your attention, I want to invite you to join us for our Monday night prayer. Monday night prayer. Um, okay, we've got somebody online. Just give me one moment. Monday night prayer. You can log on uh, to 504 302. We're going we're gonna to scratch the 504. We're not in, in New Orleans on the prayer call. It is a national prayer call. You can call us at 302 202. One 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 nine. That's three zero two two zero two one 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 nine. Our code is seven eight one three five zero. That's seven eight one three five zero. And we're happy to have women from around the nation joining us on that call on Monday night. And we invite you to join as well. Uh, before I give my tips, let's find out who's on the line. Hello and welcome to the show. Good afternoon, Doc. How are you? Hey, you busy lady. How Hi. Are you? I'm finding you. I was on the I'm first awesome. time. You, you took asked. a moment. You took a moment to call in today. So everybody is yeah. awesome. <laughs> What's your name? Brenda Johnson. All right. How are you, Brenda? Yeah, I'm fine, Doc. How you doing? I'm good. So what's your comment today? Uh, I'm just enjoying the uh, message. Uh, I was on, and then it kind of got kicked off. So I'm just following and the message on procrastination. It is. Um, Do you, you want to share something about procrastination? Well, I just think that it is an enemy to us sometimes. So sometimes uh, <laughs> we need to make sure <laughs> that we can uh, keep up with things and uh-huh. not be a victim of procrastination. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So you know what I find stressful about this? Um, I find that I'm stressed when um, I pro- if I were to procrastinate, I have to be to work. Uh, my last job when I was uh, working in broadcasting was I had to be to work for 530. So I needed to leave my house no later than 5 because I'm like 20 minutes away. And that would give me like 10 extra minutes to just, you know, get myself together. But say I don't leave the house for 515. Now I'm breaking the speed limit, getting to where I have to get to, rushing, and if there was a breakdown or some type of a situation on the highway, now I start getting stressed because I'm in broadcasting, and that means people who are accustomed to hearing my voice at a certain time. And when I'm not there... Guess what? It's not just me realizing I'm late. Everybody that's listening realizes what? That I'm late. So, you know, it can cause stress when you're leaving too late to get to where you have to get to and you come up, I guess, come up against traffic jams or situations along your pathway and uh, procrastination can cause stress. So it's very, very important that we understand, like you said, it's an enemy to us and not a friend. Thank you for calling us on today. We appreciate it. You're welcome. You wanted to um, you wanted to share uh, your procrastination experience, or did you have uh, another comment that you want to share? No, just that um, basically it's not something that's desirable. <laughs> right. 
Exactly. You didn't mm-hmm. want to tell on yourself today, huh? I told on myself. <laughs> I told on well, myself. You know, um, well, I can say this. You know, um, you know, I have been uh, in that situation, like you described, you know, trying to get to places, you know, and I'm trying to correct that, you know, I'm trying to get better because I don't like driving, you know, past the speed limit, you know, so, uh, and then you okay. can't predict, you know, the traffic. So, but yeah, I have been a chronic procrastinator uh, in terms yeah. of getting to where I need to go. Right that, that was, hmm? Yeah. Can you hear me? Hello. Are you working on yourself? Well, thank you for sharing that. I appreciate that, Miss Brenda. Hey, listen, let me help you guys get yes, well, prepared to leave today. I want to talk about some anti procrastination strategies. This is how you overcome or defeat um, procrastination in your lives. And me too. Yes, first thing you have to recognize we've got an issue. Once we recognize it, the second thing I want to encourage you to do is to commit to the task that you're going to do. You know, sometimes you say, oh, I'm going to go, and no, I'm not going to go. Oh, I'm going to go. No, I'm not going to go. And then when the thing is about to start, uh, you jump up and put your clothes on, try to run out there, and you're wondering, you know, why you're stressed. You're stressed because you're 30 minutes late because you decided at the last minute, yes, I'm going to go. So whatever the task may be, commit to the task. Be full-minded that you're going to do it, and then you can start to get through it. The third thing I want to encourage you to do is promise yourself a reward because you say, you know what, this has been a challenge for me almost, you know, all my adult life or for the past year. And then you break that mold. You decide that you're going to leave much earlier to get to where you have to go or that you're going to now start to open the uh, more difficult packages first, the envelopes first. You're going to do the task that seems the most uh, hard to get through, uh, and promise yourself a reward, whatever that reward is. For me, it might be a frappe because I don't drink those often. I love them, but they're full of sugar. So that might be my treat, but I don't know what your treat might be, but promise yourself a reward only if you do that thing um, in a timely manner and you do it at the top of your day. Rephrase, rephrase your internal dialogue. Stop telling yourself, well, I'm late. That's just the way it is. Oh, I've always done it this way. Uh, it's going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. Rephrase and say, you know, I don't need to be late to what I'm doing. I don't need to half do it. I don't need to half step. I need to give myself ample enough time for myself to be able to get everything right. And not only that, for us to be able to hear from God, rephrase your internal dialogue. Say, I deserve the time it takes to get through this and get through this well. And then finally, minimize your distractions. One thing I found when I'm getting ready for church on a Sunday morning, the calls start to come in, the texts start to come in. But in order for me to get there early enough for me just to chill out before service starts, I've got to decide I'm not taking these calls until I'm in the car. And then I might push a button, let them talk to me and get the message to me or let them text me and I'll respond once I'm parked and at the church. So those are some things you can do to uh, get over this need or desire that your negative side of yourself is pulling on you to do in the form of procrastination and move to the positive side of yourself and go with your anti-procrastination strategies. You can do it. I can do it. Yes, we can. can. I know we can because we are what? We're winners. We're women that are winning at life from ministry to marketplace. Guys, I've got to go, but I've enjoyed sharing with you today. Join me again on next week. We'll have another great topic to talk about. And again, don't forget, you can send your comments or your questions to me, Loretta Reviews at gmail.com. That's Loretta Reviews at gmail.com. Until next time, may God bless you. May God keep you. This is my prayer. It has been the Loretta Petite Show. Women Winning at Life from Ministry to Marketplace. My name is Loretta Petit, and I am Winning at Life. Bye-bye.
true life.